berkaitannya dengan perhimpunan sebab ini statement datang daripada Ketua Polis Langor. Meskipun kita ucapkan penghargaan kepada pihak polis atas kejayaan memberkas suspek dan menemui senjata berbahaya, tapi timbul banyak keraguan, tanda tanya orang ramai sejauh mana ketelusan pihak polis atas isu tersebut. Penemuan senjata seperti parang yang masih baru, parang itu parang yang belum digunakan dan t-shirt bersih adalah sangat meragukan dan menimbulkan tanda tanya. Gambaran buruk dan fitnah yang ditujukan kepada penganjur bersih seperti kaitan dengan pertubuhan haram, kemungkinan huru hara akan berlaku dan pertumpahan darah boleh berlaku adalah sangat tidak bertanggungjawab. Sekatan jalan raya yang dibuat oleh pihak polis, tangkapan kepada orang awam, gangguan terhadap ceramah dan serbuan terhadap premis-premis tertentu yang kemudiannya disusuli dengan penemuan senjata berbahaya seperti dirancang ada konspirasi untuk membuktikan kononnya memang ada pihak-pihak yang ingin melakukan huru hara dalam negara ini. Ini juga boleh membawa maksud bahawa penggunaan ISA, ordinan darurat termasuk peristiharan darurat boleh digunakan kononnya sebagai langkah pencegahan. Jika inilah perancangan yang dilakukan, ianya sangat malang dalam sistem demokrasi berperlembagaan. Taktik kotor seperti peristiwa 13 Mei 1969, peristiwa memali dan operasi lalang adalah taktik yang lapuk, ketinggalan zaman dan sangat menjijikkan. Maknanya kalau pendekatan yang nak digunakan seperti dulu, ini satu taktik kotor yang kita harap taktik seperti ini sama sekali tidak digunakan. Saya bersama seluruh rakyat Malaysia menjunjung titah khas oleh duli yang maha mulia tuanku yang dipertuan agung. Prinsip keadilan, kebijaksanaan, perundingan dan mendengar rintihan rakyat sebagaimana yang ditekan baginda sangat bertepatan dan harus dijunjung oleh setiap lapisan masyarakat. But they came anyway, and confrontations between pro-reform demonstrators and police turned violent on the streets of Kuala Lumpur, precisely what the government said it wanted to avoid by banning the demonstrations in the first place. Tens of thousands came in clusters, hoping to make their way through different routes to Merdeka Stadium, the site of Malaysia's declaration of independence from Britain over 50 years ago. The protesters are calling for electoral reform. Police presence has been heavy here since Friday, effectively shutting down the capital city. Some have called it an overreaction that has instead provoked the chaos that transpired. Others feel it's this very police presence that actually led to fewer demonstrators turning out than originally expected. The particular event here is also a polarized society between those who support government and buy the government line versus those who actually genuinely want to see some kind of democratic reforms take place in Malaysia before the next general election. Tensions remain high as protesters now try to figure out where to take things from here. But they have succeeded in getting the attention they wanted. Attention that doesn't reflect well on the government of Prime Minister Najib Razak. The group called Bursay 2 has hailed its demonstration for electoral reform as a victory. But the latest word we have is that more than 1,600 people have been arrested. Among them, leaders of Bursay as well as AMNO's youth wing and several opposition leaders. capital Kuala Lumpur. Instead, he blames opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim for masterminding the rally, calling him an opportunist. Dia tahu kalau tidak dilakukan sesuatu, insya Allah kita akan menang dalam PRU 13. Dia tahu. Dan dia pun tahu 
inilah the last chance for him. Baru kena sikit saja tear gas. Muka dari kerut macam dah kena belasah ni. Masuk pula dalam YouTube gambarnya video. Malam tadi Tansi Mayudin tunjuk saya. Dia akses YouTube. Tunjuk gambar. Oh macam dah. Dah kena betul-betul dah kena belasah. Lepas itu dah terlentang di hospital. Sempat lagi dengan baju kuning dia. Tak buka baju ni. Baju kuning. Oh. Dengar khabar. Fighting for fair election. We hope Malaysia will be a truly democratic country. That's why we are marching today for freedom and justice and rule of law. People will never forget how they feel. They're shooting in front as well as back, you know. So if we didn't even have a place to run, they're like they're, they're surrounding us and then shooting us with tear gas. It's very unreasonable. This is our constitutional right to protest peacefully. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Hello and a very warm welcome. Rakyat dia beri maklumat Dengan sepenuhnya ah. Ada kalangan yang mengatakan Mengapa pah menyokong Orang bukan Islam Yang mengandurkan bersih ini Kita diajar oleh Nabi Muhammad SAW Disebut Bahawa Nabi kita Muhammad SAW Menyebut Di zaman jahiliah sebelum Islam Nabi diajar oleh bapa saudaranya yang bukan Islam hadir dalam satu perbincangan untuk menentang yang zalim menentang perkara yang salah yang dikenali dengan halful fudul Nabi Allah menyebut sekiranya pakatan untuk menentang yang zalim ini yang dilakukan di zaman jahiliah dibawa di zaman Islam walaupun mereka orang jahiliah aku ikut sama kata Nabi Nabi tidak ada oleh Nabi mereka yang menganjurkan tempoh nombor seh ini bukan ada ahli politik tetapi kerja-kerja pandai yang tidak senang dengan perkara yang berlaku Allah kita telah menganjurkan perhimpunan dengan cara yang baik dengan cara yang aman walaupun dia sembuh dengan geh pemilih mata matanya pedih nafahnya sesak dan ada orang yang mati. Dah mati. Oh, ada orang yang cedera. Ada orang yang tak apa kena ke. Dia kata jadi obat seduang. This particular incident really is unprecedented. Almost 2,000 people were arrested. Of course, they've all been released. But nevertheless, uh, we did see a number of violent incidences. Uh, not only were the police firing tear gas directly into the crowd in confined spaces, but they were also beating people on the ground or people as they were fleeing. And this is something everyone can see on YouTube.
The Malaysian government has been cracking down on Berse, which of course means, means clean in, in Malaysia. It's the electoral reform movement for over two weeks now. In fact, there are already some 40 people in, uh, in prisons in, in, in Malaysia. So although all the people over the weekend have been released, we've got 40 people who've been in for two weeks in some cases. We believe that, that people around the world and in Malaysia should be able to protest peacefully. Uh, which is what they were doing last weekend. In fact, some of the people had been arrested for merely wearing a yellow T-shirt, which is the T-shirt of, of Berse, the electoral reform moment. And, and this is ab absolutely absurd. I'm a law student. I was sitting down. I show my IC. The next day, I'm, I'm up in the lorry. The uh, Prime Minister of Malaysia is coming to the UK this week, so we would ask the UK government to express concern about this violent crackdown of freedom of assembly and also to say that this is really unacceptable and I think we need to make the point that it's not just Western governments but also fellow ASEAN members uh, all the members of ASEAN including Indonesia Philippines and Thailand should also express their concern about this violent crackdown over the weekend by the Malaysian authorities yeah. Yeah. Insya Allah saya sokong Selagi Kerajaan tidak bersetia untuk Reformasi kan demokrasi ini. Dan ternyata Himpunan bersih mencapai kejayaan Di luar jangkaan Ya, 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 gunakan. Tapi dengan ada anak lah. Yang jadi masalah ni, kita demonstrasi beradab pun tak boleh juga. Nah, itu. organization that was behind the rally told me that they were outraged by the crackdown but are not planning any rallies in the near future. They said they will continue to press on with their demands to put an end to electoral fraud and ensure free and fair voting ahead of the coming election by organizing roadshows and seminars to gain more support. What will be your reaction? Please tell me. So one should look at the situation in totality. Even if you start by making it easier, you have achieved something. So this is very little. This is uh, not big idealism. It's a very apolitical thing I'm saying, but I think we have... Thank you so much. Thank you.